Hello my people, as I told you, we are in a journey of Changamukia climate just to see what schools and what students are doing in their specific schools, especially around conservation of environment and around um, climate change. Today we are here in Thika, uh, in Kiambu County, at Computer Girls um, High School, or Computer Girls School, and they are here also to share with us what they are doing in their school. My name is Okoto Pono. Let's get to the school and get to see what is happening in this amazing school. And of course, we are meeting this team of amazing, beautiful girls already here just to take us through what is happening. Nia Jenny? Muna umba mani nini muna fanya? Muna pray? Ama muna do? Muna pray ama muna fikiria ama muna umboleza ama muna fanya nini? I'm not afraid. Yeah. Okay, so, so, but anyway, thanks so much even for creating time to be with us. It will be we have uh, to come to computer just to see how you are working around climate and environment conservation. So, so. Yeah. so maybe just take us quick. Where are we right now? Which school is this? And why we are here today? Okay. Mm -hmm. My name is Alicia Kione Gibore Lucia. We are at Computer Among Girls High School. Computer is a school located at Mangu region in Pika and we are a girls high school. So today we are here to Changamkia Climate at Computer. We'll be discussing various issues surrounding climate change. For example, food sustainability, water shortages and even how we can put our effort as students into contributing to climate change for the better future because we believe our climate, our future. And uh, just as simple as that, we want to get to the school. I just want to play like around. Let's get in. Yeah. Um, they have stated we want to show us the farm. We want to see how we want to talk about food security. We want to talk about water conservation, electricity conservation and so much more. Karibuni sana ndani. Okay. Lakini sasa nyinyi nyinyi mna ni fresh tu sana sana sana. Like um the school to me a bit looks very green. Should you really worry about anything in nyinyi hata? Should you worry about anything really? Yeah. Does okay should, but, but I already see you have everything that you need in this school. Yeah. You have water, you have green environment. Why should it matter? Because mm -hmm. I believe it should matter mm -hmm. because it's not only here. We'll move out of here. Mm -hmm. We are not permanently students over here. Mm -hmm. So if we ruin our climate and climate change is like for the whole world, mm -hmm. it will still affect us one way or another. We may be comfortable here, but once we step out into the world. <laughs> My name is Maureen Wamboi. I'm in Form 3. Um, I think to address the food shortage in Kenya, the government should try setting up irrigation schemes, especially in the dry places like Turkana, to minimize the number of deaths. My name is Alicia Gibore and I think a solution to food problem would probably be taking initiative because we've always been depending on the government but it's clear that the government is overwhelmed with like a lot of things. So for example that sustainability, if we start growing our own things, another school starts, another school starts, it takes a bit of the budget of the government and relies on us so that the government now can focus on bigger projects like the irrigation schemes as she has said. So I'm Samantha Wamboy and a way to improve on the food shortage is by planting of indigenous crops because these days everyone is focusing on canned food and the western food. So what about if we looked at cassava, something that will survive in a drought area, that will be much better. Yes, thank you. Indigenous crops. My name is my name is Dorothy Mora and I'm I'm in form Dorothy or Doro. Yeah, I'm in form four and what I feel like you see how people usually hype up these other careers like doctors, lawyers, like they should also like make agriculture be like a 
big career to people, for people not to discriminate it. And the more the people enter into the agricultural sector, the more people are going to, our farms are going to, to flourish and be better. Yeah. So my name is Esther Nyokabi and for what, for what Samantha has said about the indigenous crops, how about us as the country being taking other lands that are suitable for farming instead of them building buildings, but they plant there, they do their cultivation there. Um, my name is Claire Zuku, and I think the government should take the initiative of building granaries, which will help in storing the food that might help during drought period. Yeah. My name is Anger. That the way, the way to improve food production is by like helping learners understand that also farming generates wealth, because most learners think that being lawyers and doctors what will give them money. But also farmers generate wealth and it will increase labor in their farms, so it will increase food production. Yes, sustainability is a key issue now. And it's the way to go. It's the way to go because we have to teach these children how to, whatever we are doing is just also teaching them not just to consume at the everyday uh, uh, needs, but also for the future. Because the minute they see that you can manage to sustain yourself in terms of vegetables, in terms of here in Unga, at this time Unga is very expensive, we do our own maize and we see Aga and it's usually uh, just wonderful. It's classic Ugali and they love it. So such that even after they leave school, they know that is the way to go. Mm -hmm. uh, I have seen these days not even <clears throat> a matter of land. People are, be, are growing foodstuffs at their balconies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's So it's not even go. about the amount of space that you have, but no. how well you utilize the yes. little space you yes. have. Yes, how well you utilize. Yes, uh, and I'm sure right now there are so many people watching and maybe wondering what, what, how well can they use the little resources that they have in their institutions to mm -hmm. produce the most. Yes, mm -hmm. food has become the most expensive item now. Mm -hmm. For schools, I think 80% of the budget goes to food. Mm -hmm. And unless now schools utilize what they have, the little space they have to grow uh, vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, to grow uh, whatever needs they have, mm -hmm. I would advise uh, the principals out there to see what else they can do with the little land they have. They can use the, the little space to have their own, even chicken, mm -hmm. to provide eggs, mm -hmm. to provide vegetables, mm -hmm. to provide uh, all the needs that they are, uh, to sustain themselves throughout. And it's possible. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Mm -hmm. Despite the numbers, mm -hmm. it's possible. Mm -hmm. I have seen it work here, and I know it's possible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Samantha Mboy, a Form 4 student, and also we have our own bakery. So the cost of buying bread and cakes is much reduced because the products are bought in a wholesale match, which is at a lesser cost. So when we bake our own foodstuffs from school, the rate of usage of money is much less and hence we have a good food stability here. My name is Alicia Giboshe. I'm in Form 4, Computer Among Girls, and how we achieve food sustainability in this school is the cooks and the chefs have known the amount of food that we eat and so they regulate the food that we eat according to how much we need so that prevents wastage of food substances and the excess is usually stored and given out later for example if lunch ilibaki and during supper someone wants a portion of whatever ilibaki wanapewa so to prevent wastage mm. yes okay my name is Abigail Akini, I'm in Form 3, and to add on wastage of food, in case there is usually excess food, um, the excess food is usually taken to feed the chicken, like most of our teachers 
they take the food and take them to the animals in the farms. So like you get like chicken in school, they give us eggs. We eat eggs on Fridays. So yeah. I'm gonna produce my hay. I'm gonna cook in the school. So nyama nyama za kuku nazo pia hizo nazo mnakula pia? Eh. Mnakula kuku shule? Yes. Na sisi wengine tunakula kama kuku huko nje. Okay, sasa sawa. But anyway, hiyo ni sawa kabisa. Tell me something about electricity. Tukiachana na mambo ya chakula kidogo. You told me how you make sure that chakula is produced in excess. Si ndio? Cuz you know when you talk about sustainability in school, about climate and environment, all these things na come together. Tell me about electricity. How do you ensure that electricity is not waste in this school? Now there's steam up here, bay mepanda sana sisi Kenya. Uh, my name is Kimberly Ndega. I'm in form 4 and one of the things that we do is when after we are done with classes, we ensure that we've switched off all the lights so as to this to minimize the amount of electricity from being wasted. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I think that the government should like introduce hybrid seeds, mm -hmm. those which mature quickly to ensure that the food production in the country is sufficient enough to cater for the population in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Okay, so government, I didn't get the point clearly. To introduce hybrid seeds, uh -huh. which mature Faster. Uh, within a short period of time. Okay, so, so um, just nice to hear about that. But also, just generally, do you think Kuna, there's a need for more storage of food? Yes. Mm -hmm. how, how can you ensure that is happening? On the storage of food, the storage part. Have the mic. I think uh -huh. that if we better the transport system, mm -hmm. it can save a lot because you see there are foods that get spoiled mm -hmm. just because they're on the road, because of bad roads, something that's highly perishable like milk, it gets spoiled and farm produce. So if we better our transport system, we can enable the food to reach the storage areas before they get spoiled. So, about electricity, because that is also another big problem right now. Mm. Um, the more industrialized we are getting, Kenya is now taking the direction of uh, industrialization. Yes. We are processing a lot, we are processing more food. Uh, what are we talking about? We, we start using machines. When we start using machines, then definitely there is now need for power. How do we ensure that we have enough power? Yes. Um, I would say they should use the, like, let's say the wind or sun, which will, like, the wind panel can be able to uh, propel enough energy, which can be stored. Then later, when when it's already been paneled, which can be able to supply to every place or city. Yeah. Okay. So we start exploring other sources of. Energy. Okay, so, so someone else? We are heading to the school farm. From here, you will see where we grow our own food. You'll see the vegetables, you'll see some fruits, you'll see other places that they are preparing to grow more things. So you'll see spinach, this kumawiki, there are mangoes, papayas, and a lot of other fruits. So as a school, this is where we get our food, and that really saves on costs of buying other things. So from the farm, this is where we get our vegetables mostly, our fruits, and it really saves on the costs because you can see from here, we don't have to like buy vegetables, we don't have to buy fruits, we only buy very few things that we can't get from the farm mm. and that really saves it's even been able to allow us to keep our school fees constant mm -hmm. at a point that the school fees prices are really hiking. Ah, yes. Okay. Because and the point you're making is so critical because one of the schools I visited recently they said now they have stopped students' activities because um, they're directing that money to food. You know, schools do budget at the beginning of the year. Yeah. So when they did their budget, they did a budget at a time that uh, 2 kg of um, ugali, uh, unga ya ugali was 120. Towards the mid of the year, it may shoot to, past mid of the year, it may shoot to over, two, over 200, right? Yes. Now they have to rethink. Do we take students for school functions or do we direct that money back to food? Yes. So I think now they were really, really forced to change their, their, their plans. Daughter. But anyway, 
I, I, I think I really like this. So who manages the farm? Uh, that's another point actually. Yeah. This farm has been able to create employment opportunities ah. because since the students can't be here to take and yes. the teachers. I think that's a very realistic point. Yes. Because students cannot be in the farm farming. Exactly. So they hired a gardener. Mm -hmm. So we have our school gardener who makes sure that everything from the farm is okay. Mm -hmm. And since the farm is not that far from the kitchen and the chefs are the ones who know the quantities of food that we use, so if they need anything from the farm, the chefs and the assistant chefs come to the farm and pick what they need from the farm. Okay. Papaya. Ndani kala gani? Yellow. Oh, yellow, oh, orange. Yeah. Naka red. So yeah. Mm. Naka very nice. Okay. Then say ndi usa kitimu. Eh, adimu kuna maembe. Na naona ndimu na machungu wako kwa mingi. Yes. Eh, eh, bane. Actually, mi achete niyo ni ndimu. Literally, there are people who have never seen a lemon tree in their lives. Eh, boy, hani waulize. Nani ya shayi ona apple ikiwa kwa tree? Kwa TV. Mwangapi wa shayi ona apple ikiwa kwa tree? For real, mi ni leona kwa TV. Orchards. We have carrots here mm -hmm. where we get our carrots to cook with in the kitchen. Mm. Yes. Okay. Then these are the ones? Mm? The strawberries. Strawberries. Yes, in fact, they are harvesting right now. This yeah, is the, the fruits we are having. You're like some seconds too late. We had harvested some seconds ago. Yeah. So today we've gone around the farms and we've seen how our school, how Computer contributes to food sustainability in relation to climate change. We've been able to walk around the farm, we've been able to see the different types of plants that we have and how we put our effort into maintaining the food sustainability in school. We've been able to talk and interact about our opinions and our individual views in relation to climate change and in, and in food sustainability. And we hope that you have learned a lot and that some of the schools can implement policies such as ours because climate change is a primary issue facing us and we should put our best foot forward in order to fight climate change. Always remember, Changamkia climate, our climate, our future. Thank you. Perfect. And uh, I also have to say that I've been very happy you taking us around your school to keep your story, just seeing what you do as students in your school. We've talked about how you are conserving water in your school, isn't you? Yeah. And that's a very good thing. We've talked about how just to conserve food that is um, not available to all in this country and this continent. We've talked about how also to ensure that the sustainability of food in your school. And now to everyone watching, this has been Changamkia Climate at Compuera Mangu Girls yes. School. And um, amazing people walking around. Give you a high five at this that you can which school which schools would you like to challenge Pia and Ele to we just mentioned shout out those schools. Kila moja kila mtu. Mangu gani tena? Kona Brook. Kona Brook. Kona Brook lazima itajwe, si ndio? Tena shule gani? Alliance. Alliance tena gani? Nairobi. Mnachagua tu shule zime na relationship na Sunshine. Sunshine love tena gani? Lenana. Lenana. I'm telling you, the central of the Nyanza matter, what is surely? Machakos boys. Okay, so sour. And of course, watching, this has been Changamkia Climate. Compare Mangal School. Goodbye.